welcome back in this video we are going to configure and to verify NAT pool overload in part 2 you will configure the gateway router to translate the IP addresses from the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network to one of the six usable address in the 209.165.200.224/29 range here we can see define an access control list that matches the lan private ip addresses acl1 is used to allow uh, this network to be translated here we can see that command what we have to give on the router gateway coming to the configuration on the router gateway password is Cisco enable password is class configure terminal access list to one we are going to permit this network that is 192.168.1.0 and we have to give the wild card bits that is 0.0.0.255 .0 .0 .0 Next is a define the pool of usable public IP addresses. We have to give this command IP NAT pool public access and here we can see the range. Also we can see the net, to, uh, net mask. Coming to the configuration on this uh, gateway. IP NAT pool then we have to specify a pool name public underscore access now we are going to give the start IP address here we can see it's a public IP address 209.165.200.225 and now we are going to give end IP address 209.165.200.225 200.230 next we have to give a net mask then the network mask that is a 255.255.255.248 next is a define the NAT from the inside source list to the outside pool IP NAT inside source list to 1 this is access list to 1 then pool and the pool name overload coming to the configuration on gateway here we are going to give IP NAT inside address translation so inside then we have to give a source list and the number one then here we are going to give the pool and the pool name public underscore access overload and address translation overload next is a specify the interfaces issue the IP NAT inside and IP NAT outside commands to the interfaces uh, coming to our topology here we can see uh, this is the interface uh, gigabit Ethernet zero slash one we have to give IP NAT inside and which goes to uh, the internet that is uh, to the ISP here we can see the port that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 we have to give IP NAT outside coming to the configuration on the router gateway we will go to that particular interfaces first of all we will go to the interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and here IP NAT inside now we will go to the interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 which is connecting to the router ISP IP NAT outside next is uh, we are going to verify the NAT to pool overload configuration from each PC host ping the 192.31.7.1 address on the ISP router so this network this address we can see in our uh, topology uh, we assigned for this uh, loopback zero simulated internet services so we are going to uh, ping from each pcs pca pcb pcc uh, to uh, this uh, loopback zero address 
first of all we will start from PCA ping to the address here we can see we are getting the replay now we will ping from PCB ping to loopback 0 we are getting the replay now we will ping from PCC ping to loopback 0 we are getting the replay next is a display NAT statistics on the gateway router uh, by giving this command show IP NAT statistics we will give that now coming to the router gateway show IP NAT statistics here we can see the details translations also we can see pool public access and to mask then the start address and end address total address of 6 allocated 1 next is a display NATs on the gateway router show IP NAT translations we will check that coming to the router gateway show IP NAT translations here we can see the details so we given uh, the protocol ICMP we given ping to uh, this uh, loopback 0 IP address here it uses a 225 here we can see that also we can see inside the local address so this is the private IP address depending on how much time uh, has elapsed since you performed the pings from each PC you may not see all three translations ICMP translations have a short timeout value Yes, correct so when we um, uh, give this command show IP in a translation sometime uh, you may get uh, only uh, these uh, four um, translations if you like to get all the translations so we have to give uh, the ping again from all the three pieces and suddenly we have to give this uh, show command how many inside local IP addresses are listed in the sample output above so if you consider here we can see inside the local uh, three are there even in uh, in our output also we can see three uh, here we can see 1.21 here we can see 1.22 also we can see 1.20 how many inside global IP addresses are listed uh, here we can see uh, only one uh, inside the global address here we can see that also in our output we can see uh, so 209.165.200.225 here we can see only one next is how many port numbers are paired with the inside the global address inside the global address here we can see uh, three uh, port numbers coming to our result so here we can see here we can see those ports different different port numbers 11 12 9 coming to the last question here what would be the result of pinging the inside the local address of PCA from the ISP router Y obviously the ping would fail because the router knows the location of the inside the global address in its routing table but the inside local address is not advertised anyways we will check that uh, coming to the router ISP password is Cisco 
enable password is class here we are going to give the pink to pc hyphen a using its uh, private ip address that is uh, inside local address We are waiting for the replay. Here we can see success rate is 0%. It's failed. Well, in this video, we configured and verified NAT pool overload. Next video, we will configure and verify patch.